that guy's ready to go. Mm -hmm. them grow up and experience both the pain and pleasure of life. Because you are the ones who have supported and known them so well, it is only fitting that you are the ones to share this once in a lifetime moment with them. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Uncle Steve, Jackie's uncle. I want to wish and thank them and express my sincere appreciation for the opportunity to officiate this momentous occasion. I am truly privileged to be part of this special day. Jackie and Tom are honored to have their parents, 
Marty, Norma, and Kim here for this ceremony and provi for providing them with every opportunity possible to be successful and for being the best parents that anyone could wish for. A wedding day is often a day when couples miss family members unable to share this special occasion. For Jackie, there is Martin and Dorothy, her grandparents, who so enjoyed spending time with their grandchildren. Jackie remembers her grandpa sitting in his recliner with toys, gadgets, and candy to put a smile on their faces. Although, she says in looking back, she thinks he enjoyed it as much as they did. She recalls how caring grandma was and how proud she was of her grandchildren and how hard they all worked. Jackie always felt that Dorothy should have opened her own bakery and how she would yell at the kids for eating all her cookies. During sleepovers, grandma and grandpa would tuck them in all so tight that they couldn't even move. Tom lost his father eight years ago, shortly before he met Jackie. He wishes his dad would have had the opportunity to know her and to see her contagious smile. People say Tom got his sense of humor and love for cooking from his father. Tom loved talking sports with Donald, his grandfather, and Lee, his grandmother, was always willing to help anyone in need. May memories of loved ones brighten this day and warm their hearts. And so it is, Tom and Jackie present themselves to be married today, surrounded by the people that they love and care for the most. Marriage is the promise between two people who love each other and trust in that love, who honor each other as individuals, and who choose to spend the rest of their lives together. This ceremony will not create a relationship that does not already exist between you. It is a symbol of how far you have come these past few years, growing as individuals and as partners. No matter what challenges you will face, you will now face them together. And no matter how much you succeed, you now succeed together. This love joins you as one now. You both look to a shared future that includes raising a happy family, a future that includes a richly lived life together. The years will come and go, but one constant will be your love for each other. I would like to share a poem. It's called Where I'll Always Be. I could never hope to find someone who fits me better. I swear I made a wish and it was answered to the letter. I hope that you feel just the same. I think I know you do. I swear I had a dream one night and now it's coming true. You're all I've ever wanted and you're all I ever will my love in its happy place and growing greater still. As every day I spend with you, I see more that I like. You could make the grayest day feel sunny, warm, and bright. You're such a special person and you mean the world to me. So any time or place you are, that's where I'll always be. I felt that this Bible passage from the book of Genesis was appropriate for today. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept, took 
one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Tom and Jackie, I would like to share a few words of wisdom. The state of Ohio issues, issues a marriage certificate. This piece of paper is not, however, a marriage. In fact, anything today that is done is not a marriage. This is a glorious day, and Tom and Jackie have put a ton of time and effort into making this day happen, as you will soon see. But as wonderful as it is to be here today, this is a marriage ceremony and not a marriage. What makes a marriage is what follows. A marriage is what you do tomorrow and the next day and the following weeks and months and years to come. Jesus shared these words with us. No one has a greater love than this that someone lay down his life for his friends. Most likely, and hopefully, you will never be asked to give up your life for each other. However, you will be required to give up yourself for each other. Jackie, today you will give yourself to Tom, and Tom, you will give yourself to Jackie. You will give rings to each other as a symbol of this giving and as a symbol of your solemn vow before all of us and God. You will give yourself body, soul, mind to each other as a gift far more precious than the rings you exchange. Marriage is a gift of your life, and it is not just for today. It is for every day from this day forward. You must constantly give yourselves to one another. That is marriage. It means letting go of petty things like who is right and who is wrong. It means putting your spouse, their wants, their desires, their happiness ahead of your own. Tom, it means that Jackie's happiness is more important than yours. And Jackie, before you smile about that too much, it means that Tom's happiness is also more important than yours. That is marriage. I can tell you from my own experience of 27 years almost with Kathy, and I am sure that anyone here that is married will agree this is much, much easier said than done. But it is accepting your partner's flaws and focusing on the things that drew them to you originally that will create a lasting, loving marriage. I love you both very much, and I am so proud of the journey that brought you here today. I wish you a long and prosperous marriage, and I am truly confident that you will enjoy many years together till death do you part. We now come to the words that Jackie and Tom want to hear the most. The words that take them across the threshold from being engaged to being married. A marriage is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others. And it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last a lifetime. Before you declare your vows to one another, I want to hear you confirm that it is indeed your intention to be married to Jackie, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Tom and Mary? If so, say I do. Tom, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Jackie and Mary? If so, answer I do loudly. I do. <laughs> Jackie, please hand your bouquet to Cindy. Tom and Jackie, having heard that it is your intention to be married to each other, I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. Please face each other.
Exchange of wedding rings. Your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which already unites your two hearts in love. I asked John, the best man, to give Jackie's ring to Tom. Tom, place the ring on Jackie's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end, as this ring has no end, my love is also forever. My love is also forever. John, now please give Tom the ring for Jackie. Jackie, repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring forever. May the wedding rings you expect. lights now shining before us tell us that each of you is a bright light on this earth and the life given to you by your parents. Now I ask Tom and Jackie to take the individual candles and light the center unity candle together. <laughs> As the flame from the center candle rises upward, may the light of your combined lives 
shine in a beam that is now stronger and brighter because it unites the two flames of your hearts. May the flame of your love shed its light on your married life in all the years to come. <coughs> Everyone has advice for newlyweds, especially on their wedding day. I would like to share some myself. Never go to bed angry. Always stay up and fight. <laughs> a successful marriage requires falling in love many times. Always the same person. The great secret of a successful marriage is to treat all disasters as incidents and none of the incidents as disasters. Love is not a matter of counting the years, it is making the years count. How? To keep your marriage burning. <laughs> Tom and Jackie, I offer these good wishes to you on this special day. May your life together be blessed with prosperity, good health. May you always share open and honest communication between each other. May you respect each other's individual talents and gifts and give full support to each other's professional and personal pursuits. May you cherish the home and family you will create together. May all the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May your love be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion to each other. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio through the Universal Life Church, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may seal this bond with a kiss. Family and friends, I am proud, honored, and pleased to present to you all for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Tom and Jackie Vaughn. Scott, stay there. <laughs> Don't even start with me. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs>
say hi to the new couple. <laughs>